everyone welcome back to new video here we are going to manufacture a wooden chair in order to manufacture a wooden chair we require the following components such as wooden panel and screw so all these components must be put together and this will be supplied from my company san francisco to your company san francisco so once the production is over from your company san francisco the manufactured product will be moving or resupplied by subcontracting from your company san francisco to my company san francisco so hope you guys are ready to resupply subcontracting with me so let's check that we send raw materials to subcontracting so that they can manufacture the finished products and send it back to us this allows to keep the finished products in the inventory without having to make the products ourselves so first let's get into the manufacturing application and under that you need to ensure that you have enabled subcontracting from the configuration settings this would let you to subcontract the production of some product so here we are going to manage with the product as wooden chair and you can see uh, in order to manufacture the product wooden chair we have to consider the components as screw as well as wooden panel and we also need to manage with the uh, BOM so here I have already configured a BOM for the product wooden chair and setting the reference as recycle. Here you have to set the BOM type as subcontracting and here you can also see that we have set a subcontractor. So once you get into the internal link of the product, under the inventory you need to enable buy as the uh, route and you also need to set the subcontractor uh, over here and you can also see the price and delivery lead time of uh, the product now let's back to the bill of material that we have created and we also need to consider the components as wooden panel uh, as well as screw and you we here we have to set the roots as uh, um, resupply subcontract on order so for both uh, components you have to set the root as resupply subcontract on order now let's create an RFQ for this. So for that, let's get into the purchase module. Under purchase module, you can create a new RFQ. So let me choose the vendor that is the subcontractor that we have given in the BOM. And here you also need to choose a product that is wooden chair. So once you choose a wooden chair and confirm the order here, you can see that we have got a resupply button as well as a receipt button, which means first we have to resupply the components that is the wooden panel and screw. This can be also managed from the inventory module. So let's get into the inventory module. Under the inventory module, now you can see we have to resupply subcontractor, which we have one to process. So here you can see the one step, which is uh, shown here. Now um, you can see all the products here. You can set the quantities that to uh, resupply subcontract. And I'm going to set the uh, quantity. And here now you can see the reserved quantity and then quantities are same and you can just validate this process and you can also see that this has um, created from the uh, which source uh, purchase order okay so you would be able to see that also now if you want to directly receive the product from here you can receive that or you can also receive the product from the receipts so, so currently we have six uh, receipts right now here and you can choose the receipts over here and you can just validate the process by setting the quantities and we are currently going to resupply or receive uh, one of the uh, product from uh, the vendor uh, to the destination location as a warehouse uh, now you can set the uh, quantities by validating the process so we will be getting the product from the vendor to the destination location which is the uh, warehouse stock so when you go to, uh, as we have validated this uh, once you go to the product you can see the product quantity will be enhanced by subtracting the components quantity from each so hope you guys have enjoyed the concept of resupply subcontracting in order 16 manufacturing as always stay awesome